Here's a video I'm doing. I know I don't do a lot of videos. Most of my videos are to ask questions on forum, uh, forums and stuff. But I've done two different videos on the DQ2722M that I got in a kit that I ordered from eBay. Um, and I've gotten some people asking me questions about that. And I definitely understand it because that was probably one of the most difficult uh, parts of what I'm doing. Um, which is, uh, my mill right here. And on top, the D, the DQ2722 drives that 4200 ounce motor up there. So here's a, a quick lowdown on how I fix it up. And it's, this is for Edward Van, uh, Tonder, I think. Edward, I don't know if you speak English or not, if you're from an English speaking place. So I'm going to break this down. Uh, with colors and I'm going to show you everything I did to set it up. So first off, I just wanted to show you, I don't know if you have your settings in Mach yet, but I'll show you those real quick on motor tuning, the Z axis. And yeah, it looks kind of crappy right there. But um, so far, this is what I've got. The steps per are 16307.806456. Velocity is 91.98, acceleration in inches is 5, and the step and direct pulse are both 5. And uh, it really works pretty good. Um, let, me, uh, let me show you here real quick. I'm running at uh, 100 inches a minute there. And let me see. Oops. Let me reset this. Okay, let's try that again. Moves pretty quick. I got a little bit of tuning to do. But this thing moves real quick. On those settings. Although I know I can tweak it a little bit. So let's go over. And I'll... I'll show you I'll start from the breakout board from the breakout board to the D7 uh, the DQ 2722 my um, let me see here all right the pins are calm which is red step which is white direction is green and enable is black and so from that board we come over to the 2722 it'll be backwards for you the first pin right here is the uh, PU plus pin and that's going to be red calm the next one over is going to be um, it's going to be let me get something here the next one over, right here, is the white, and that's the step, which is PU, PU minus. The third pin over is DR plus, which is COM red. So you'll have to make a jumper from one to three. And then number four is green. Green is direction, and it's DR minus. Then the next two pins in the back there are nothing soldered to them. And then the seventh pin is going to be COM, which is red. So the jumper goes from one to three to seven. And then the last one here is uh, MF minus, which is black to the enable. And then, of course, the motors. Uh, I have the four wires that are red, yellow, or red, green, yellow, blue. So, and, and my wiring uh, from my motors to here is a little bit different. Um, since I'm using the same shielded cable that I have that's uh, red, white, green, black, that's how it's going to come out of here. But then when it goes to the motors is when I switch it over. So, of course, uh, B minus. You know, uh, would be blue. B plus would be yellow. 
uh, A minus would be green and A plus would be red. Or if you had the different stepper motor wires, which I'll show you this here real quick. Here's a diagram I made up. You can pause this video. Let's see if I can get a good shot for you there. It breaks everything down. So we have the breakout board right there. Red, white, green, and black. And then track it up here. You can pause it if you want to probably. Which I made it a lot bigger here. And I put all of the um, pins that you'll be using. Which is right there. And then of course for the motors. These are the motors I have. The red, green, yellow, blue wires. But then I know there's another one out there that's black, green, red, and blue. So I went ahead and put that down for you also. This is the DQ2722M breakout board to the pins here. One side has seven, the other side has eight. The side you'll be using is the eight side. The seven side in the back is not used. Only the eight side, which is up front. Well, hope this helps.